Hey guys, it's Chris, and in today's video, I'm talking about The Spider Within, a Spider-Verse story. The Spider Within is the first ever short I've reviewed on my YouTube channel. And if you'd like me to review more shorts in the future, just let me know, especially if they're Spider-Man related. The Spider Within is a seven minute short now available on YouTube. So if you have YouTube, you can watch this for free. You can watch it as many times as you want. I've watched it like five times already. The Spider Within is a fundraiser distributed by Sony Pictures Entertainment. And as of this recording, they posted like two, you know, the same video on two different channels. And it's probably grossed over like 10 million views, a seven minute short. It really shows how much people like Spider-Man, including myself. Let's get into it. The Spider Within follows Miles facing his demons. Miles starts to feel the pressure on his life as Spider-Man. Being Spider-Man does put a lot of pressure on you. All that responsibility, saving the city, fighting all these different villains, trying to live a normal life. So being Spider-Man does put a lot of pressure on Miles' shoulders. Miles is haunted by his fears and is forced to confront the manifestations of anxiety. I really like in this short how they tackle a serious issue. You know, anxiety is a big thing. Anxiety turns your fears into your worst nightmares. The Spider Within takes place before Miles' journey through the multiverse and across the Spider-Verse. So this short takes place after into the Spider-Verse, but before across the Spider-Verse. So it's kind of like in between the two movies. Something that I really like that they pointed out in the short is Miles' damaged suit. Now, what I like about it is that one of his eyes is like shattered. It really shows what Miles has been through, even before Across the Spider-Verse. I don't think people realize that in Into the Spider-Verse, Miles did lose his Uncle Aaron. Miles having all that pressure on his shoulders as Spider-Man is pretty rough. Miles is relaxing in his room after returning home when Miles is confronted by his fears. A black silhouette stands over his bed just standing there with the yellow eyes and just literally just staring at him at the end of his bed, just staring at him. And then he just vanishes. And then he sees him coming down from the ceiling with his hand and he literally pushes him into a panic attack. That's really what your fears do to you. When you have anxiety, your fears just push you into that panic attack. And this represents that perfectly. G Fuel break. I just got the Super Saiyan lemonade in the mail recently and I've been drinking a lot of that. Good. Miles tries to fight the creature and he's standing in the subway car. He's got his fist and it's electricity coming up and then he charges at him and punches him. He does try to fight the creature, but unfortunately it doesn't do nothing. He's just standing there looking at him. And after that, that's when the creature transforms into a spider. Literally transforms right into a spider. You see one of his life coming out of his back. That turned uh, pretty dark pretty quickly. When the creature transforms into the spider, it's frightening and straight up eerie. Like I said, it does the shot of the two eyes and then four and then you got two up here and two on the bottom. And, you know, a spider, eight eyes. <laughs> you know, I would never expect in a Spider-Man media that they would make a spider so creepy and this short demonstrates that perfectly. After the transformation, the spider charges at Miles and Miles falls back into his room. That's when the spider is close to him and it detonates into all these little baby spiders, essentially an infestation of baby spiders. And they're crawling all over Miles. He's got all these little webs all over him. And one baby spider crawls out of his mouth. And it's like, oh man, this is, this is disturbing. <laughs> Even baby spiders in this short are disturbing. Even if it is short lived, but yeah, they made baby spiders disturbing. Good job, Sony. Good job. This short is horror infused and those scenes perfectly demonstrate that. Miles' panic attack is brief, but sticks with you after the credits roll. Like I said, just the spiders are just disturbing and frightening and eerie. Miles' fear and his anxiety is relatable. Like I said, I have anxiety myself, so I, I could relate to him. Like I don't ever have panic attacks, but I always get nervous and I have anxiety and like it just especially learning to drive recently like that's really given me a lot of anxiety but I'm sticking through it and you know anxiety just manifests your fears so much. Miles may have fears 
and anxiety, but he always has his dad by his side. The short really shows that even if you have panic attacks or anxiety, there's always somebody there to help you by your side. And you've probably noticed in the video in the background, I have Into the Spider-Verse, Into the Spider-Verse, which was like a new cover issue that they released recently. Ultimate Edition for Miles Morales, PS5. The Steelbook for Miles Morales for PS5. And then Across the Spider-Verse, Steelbook. All right, that was me talking about the spider within a Spider-Verse story. I'm Spider-Man Chris, and I'll see you in the next one.